It's week 76 of Zerd, so we're going to show you guys his location, the items he's selling, and give you guys my recommendations for this week, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, it is week 76 of Xur, but before we get into the video, if you haven't already entered into the Destiny 2 Forsaken annual pass giveaway for the month of March 2019, then click on the link in the description box below for your chance to win. So, Xur is located on IO, and he is by the Giant Scar, Sir, what's up, dude? So, like always, we're gonna start with the left hand side. We have the Graviton Lance, which is an exotic pulse rifle. Then we have the Orpheus Rig for the Hunter, the Centiceps for the Titan, as well as the Aeon Soul for the Warlock. We're gonna go ahead and start with the left hand side with the Graviton Lance. The intrinsic perk on this is Black Hole, which uh, second shot in burst does high damage. Then we have Hammer Forge Rifling, Accurized Rounds, Cosmology, which kills with this weapon, cause enemy targets to detonate and spawn void projectiles that track targets. Then we have Fitted Stock, and this actually has two different ornaments, the beautiful Karina Nebula, and I love this ornament, and the other one is the Particle Accelerator but these ornaments do not come with the weapon. Now, this is a pretty good uh, exotic in PvE and PvP. Uh, probably better now in PvE than it was in PvP, because as soon as the uh, Luna's Howl came out, that pretty much took the meta. So, this is going to still get a 2.5 in PvP, but definitely a tier 2 in PvE. Now, if you guys want to know the tier scale, it will be down in the description box below. Next, we have the Orpheus Rig for the Hunter. In terms of perk on this is Uncanny Arrows, which grants Deadfall in Mobius Quiver energy. Then we have Fusion Rifle Dexterity, Hand Cannon Dexterity, Outreach, Scout Rifle Scavenger, as well as Special Ammo Finder. And this also has an ornament, but I don't have it, which is kind of weird. I thought I did. But anyways, this is definitely good in PvE, and I would say in PvP, but in certain um, in certain matches, and more so just Mayhem. So, in Mayhem, this definitely will get a Tier 2 uh, in PvP, sorry, but in PvE, it definitely will get a, probably, uh, a Tier 2, maybe even a 1.5, you know. I I'll be open for that argument. Um, anything else in PvP that's not Mayhem, probably going to get a tier 3.5. Next, we have the Centoseps for the Titan. Chance of perk on this is bi uh, <laughs> Biotic Enhancements, which buffs melee range. Being surrounded buffs damage. Then we have Fusion Rifle Loader, Hand Cannon Loader, Impact Induction, Sniper Rifle Scavenger, as well as Machine Gun Scavenger. And no uh, ornaments for this. So it's definitely good in PvP, decent in PvE. I definitely give a tier 2 in PvP, but probably a 2.5 to even a tier 3 in PvE. Sorry. It's, it's a lot better than PvP than it is PvE. Next, we have the Aeon Soul for the Warlock, and the Intrepid perk on this is Aeon Energy, which throwing grenades grants energy to nearby Aeon Cultists. Yay, go ahead and join the cult. Then we have Fusion Rifle Loader, Hand Cannon Loader, Impact Induction, Sniper Rifle Scavenger, as well as Machine Gun Scavenger, and still no ornaments for these. Do not waste your time. This is definitely a Tier 4 in PvE and PvP. Nobody is ever going to use Aeon Cultists unless they are trying to do a raid or trying to prove something in, like, PvP. Like, nobody uses Aeon, like, exotics at all. 
Next, we have your consumables, which is your Five of Swords. Go ahead and pick this up if you do not have one for your Nightfall uh, challenge card, as well as the wonderful Faded Engram that's still in will never sell Forsaken Exotics. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.